Hello there friends, welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. Last time we had just finished up a shift. Uh, we're about to go meet up with Carl and uh, hang out by the supermarket for whatever reason, I don't know why. Uh, we also have the hibernation festival tomorrow, so I feel like we're gonna get into a lot of shenanigans probably. Hi. Have a great evening. You two, staying much longer today? A little while, yeah. Well, I hope you can wrap up soon. See you at the Hibernation Festival tomorrow? I couldn't imagine anything more beautiful. Truly, it would be a dream come true. But looking at this new shift, Rhoda, I guess you'll have to manage without me. Too bad. Hope you have a good day anyway. You too, kiddo. I'm sorry for walking on your desk. I got a little bit excited. <gasps> Hi, Rudy. Rudy, what are you doing down here? I'm waiting for my ride, but I want to get a snack for Ollie before I go. He said he wanted something chocolatey. But the candy in the vending machine looks really gross. Tell me about it. There's a good chance he'll just eat your money without giving you f any food, too. Really? What a ripoff. Where can I get something sweet now? Um. By the cafeteria. Uh, Kurt, our cook, Sergei, could still. or should be still be lurking around there somewhere. The cafeteria is already closed, but he might make an exception for you. Really? You think so? Awesome, thanks. I'll check it out right now. I'm sorry, Sergei. That was kind of rude of me to be like, he might do something for you. Didn't mean to put more work on you. Hey, you Finley. Rough day, huh? You can say that again. <laughs> it's just this scene that gets really wonky. Why is... Why is her text bubble, uh, bubble so big? Maybe I'll feel better once I have something in my stomach. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna meet up with Carl this time. We met up with Mia last time. Okay, maybe another time. Take care, friendly. I'm just gonna assume you're yelling at me. Also, I'm going this way too, so this is kind of awkward. But yeah, something about this, this scene, just right outside the hospital. Are we just gonna- wait, like, are you still gonna be here when I move scenes? No? Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's, it's like one of those things where you say goodbye to someone and then you both start walking the same way. That's always awkward. Um, but yeah, so last time Carl was put on... on leave, um... The hospital has pretty much said, hey, uh, where am I going? <laughs> uh, pretty much said, hey, don't do anything, you know, rash right now. We don't need any more bad publicity. And what does Carl do? He goes to get in a bar fight, which to be fair, was awesome. But also, you know, probably not the best thing to do right now. Um, Thankfully, Finley and Mia only have now a, like, note on their records. They don't have, you know, um, they don't have to go on leave or anything like that. Okay, I'm pretty sure the supermarket was over here somewhere. Was it this way? I feel like it was. This is looking very residential, though. Okay. This screen, right? Maybe? Uh, oh! <laughs> Carl, what are you doing? Carl, I didn't recognize you at first. What's with the hat? Shh, not so loud. I'm incognito. Okay, why? The supermarket's new stock comes in tomorrow morning. So, what does that mean? You're just in time. Oh, Carl, I didn't realize things were that bad. I can lend you money, you know. Save it for charity. There's no- uh, there's so much stuff in this dumpster that's just been thrown away. Is that legal? 
Yes. I see. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? Yeah, but I'm not getting into the dumpster. This is my only good jacket. Don't worry, you don't have to get your hands dirty. I just need you to distract people while I go dig out the good stuff. Seeing as you mentioned the hat, I brought one for you too. We're a team after all. Oh, really? Oh. I... <laughs> I should have gone cooking with Mia. Are you serious? What? It looks awesome. Besides, you need to draw the attention away for me. How do I do that? How should I know? You're full of hidden talents, aren't you? That bear has now seen everything. Just jump around in front of people. That should do the trick. Oh, I'm good at that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. We all know you're a natural entertainer. Distract people from what Carl's up to by dancing in front of them. Each person will show you what dance they want to see. Press and hold the button for the right dance to make the person happy. Some people will want to see more than one dance. If you're too slow, the person you're dancing for will get angry. What? <laughs> Hello? Oh, would you like... Oh, it's O. There you go. How about that? Yeah! Oh! Oh my goodness, you want a little bit of this? Yeah! Alrighty, I can get behind this. <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Oh, oh, uh, uh, X. Yeah. I know you like that. <laughs> what is this? Uh, triangle. Yeah. Uh, X. There you go. Square. Uh, X. <laughs> Uh, oh! Yeah! What even is this? <laughs> uh, triangle! Uh, square! Uh, X! He looks like me. I mean, I guess he is a pigeon, right? I was gonna say he looks like a little pigeon bobbing his head around with one of those dance moves. Um, but he is a pigeon. <laughs> so this just works out. Oh, you want some more of that? Oh, you want a little bit of that? You're welcome. You want a little bit of this? Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Uh, panicking, panicking. Oh, I did the wrong one. I'm so sorry. Oh no! Why is it lightning bolts? <laughs> there was too many people at once. I can't do that much dancing. Oh god, okay. Square! Uh, that is X. X and O are too similar looking. There you go. That was horrible. <laughs> that was good. We got good stuff. So now you're gonna eat all that? Finley, this isn't for me. We've got two orders for tonight. One's on the high street, the other's over by the old tunnel. Your neck of the woods, more or less. Let's get them delivered quickly. It's pretty frosty out here. What about the hat? What about it? Can I take it off now? No, we're not done yet. That's your delivery hat. You need it so people recognize us. Alright. <laughs> Take it from the rich. Um... Where are we going? High Street? Something here about the Hibernation Festival. Tomorrow's the annual Hibernation Festival. This is one of the whole community's favorite nights of the year. Adele von Witterstein, Porcupine's oldest citizen, will open the festival for the ninth time. Once again, the colorful culinary stew contest will be one of the highlights of the evening. In keeping with tradition, extra hot water will be fed into the pipes of the town's fountain for this purpose. 
This water carries porcupine's history with it. Adds a special flavor to the stews. Huh. I'm not sure about that. Oh no, there's something here about Gilbert's, too. Last night, a brawl broke out at Porcupine's local bar. Minor injuries were treated on the scene. The noise woke several local residents. How embarrassing. At least there's no photo. That really would be the icing on the cake. Why are you up on that window? I love that. He's like, I need to be tall. Oh, there's... There's me. Hey, Finley. Look at this huge splat of paint. What do you think happened here? I, um... I think I could take a guess. Hey, it almost looks like a person, right? Kind of familiar, actually. Aren't we meant to be delivering these groceries? Yeah, yeah, all right. Just figured I'd take a minute to appreciate this expression of artistic inspiration. Ah, uh, yes. Hey, Ruben, glad I ran into you. Why are you still outside? It's starting to get colder. Leave me alone, you big lug. What are you two loitering around here for? What's with the ridiculous disguises? I've been wondering the same thing. Hey, is that any way to greet young, motivated delivery guys? Ugh. I've got a bag of food for you. You can keep it. I don't need your grub. Come on, you old geezer. I know you can use it. You need healthy food and lots of it. Winter's coming and your immune system isn't what it used to be. There's even a pack of prunes. I know how much you love those. All right, give it here. There we go. Bon appetit. Try to bring you some more next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep moving, Finley. We've got one more order. Where? Is it still here? I wonder if it's for that guy. The one who's always outside my place. That would actually be kind of nice if it was for him. I want to give him food. He seems nice. out here? Um, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. That's unfortunate. I don't know where we're going right now. Do I have, like... Um, uh, no, okay. Still has old stuff here. I need some, like, pointers on where I'm going. <laughs> been out this way before? I think I have. <gasps> hi! Wait, hi! Oh, yes, it is for him. Alfio, my good man. My delivery helper and I have got something for you. Oh, is this all for me? Sure, if you don't like something, just give it to someone else. You're really a good guy, man. So much great stuff. I'll be feasting tonight. Thanks so much for all this. But remember that you need to go back to the hospital, okay? I ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. I know about your leg, Alfio. Please promise me to get yourself checked up. Please stop bringing me food if I don't. Of course not. It's all yours. Just think about it, okay? Okay. All right, buddy. You take care of yourself, okay? Finley? Hmm? We're done for the day. Off to bed. Good job. Take care, Alfio. See you around. Sleep tight, you two. Cool hats, by the way. Thank you. I'm quite fond of mine. I don't want to take it off. But I have a feeling they won't let me go around the ward with it tomorrow. Cool. 
I'm glad I went that way. <laughs> and I'm really glad I was right. It's, it's good it was him. Oh. Alfio's right. What do you mean? That we look good in the hats? I told you so. Just, you just have a hat face. No, about you. You really are a good guy. Ah, uh, get out of here. I only help out when someone can't afford a crumb to eat. It's no big deal. All the same, I kind of enjoyed it too. Put on quite the show back there. Nearly had me clean forgetting I have my own job to do in the dumpster. I'm heading off. I want to be fresh for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. The hibernation festival? The hibernation festival. See you there, I'm hoping. Of course. I'm not going to miss my first hibernation festival. I'm on night shift though, so I can't stay that long. No worries, we'll make the best of it. See you tomorrow. Make a great delivery assistant, Finley. Should definitely do this again sometime. Sleep tight. That was fun. That was very cute. Wow, I haven't slept that well in ages. I guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorm. Just sleep. Hello? It's raining out. I hope that doesn't interrupt. Uh, oh god, okay, okay, I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't interrupt the festival. Finleo! <laughs> Happy Hibernation Festival! Thank you, same to you. Oh man, I'm already super excited. And I'm way behind my preparations, too. Things have been really intense this year. What did you have to do? What do you think? Responsible for all the exquisite decorations, of course. You'll love it. They're so beautiful. It's just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up. There's something else I want to show you. Then we can head to the town square together. Sounds good. Yes. I can't wait. But first... Well, good morning, my friend. Go good mood? The best, thanks to you guys. I have a nice full belly. And I'm thankful for this day. Are you going to the hibernation festival later? I... I don't think so, thank you. Not in the mood? Mood's got nothing to do with it. I just don't like crowds. Hmm, okay. Well, no pressure. I'll just look forward to seeing you if you change your mind. Well, maybe I'll sleep on it again. Oh, I don't like crowds very much either. I get that. Square? I guess. Let's stop. Oh, right. There's something I want to show you first. Right, sorry, sorry. I got so caught up thinking about uh, our friend Elfio there. <laughs> oh, I'll see you later. Have a good one. <laughs> that was really funny. There we go. Oh, you caught up to me. Hey, look, it's Kid Doctor. Good thing you took off that hideous hat. It looked ridiculous. I liked that hat, but thank you, though. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Is everything okay? Yes, no. I'm nervous. What's going on? Chloe's competing today in the stew contest. It's a good thing, right? I'll be keeping my fingers crossed for her. Yes, yes, a good thing. Cross your fingers, take the paper off the roll. Check the caps and the pens, lock the register, turn off the lights. I... I think I've thought of everything. Is everything okay? Yes, yes, I think so. Today's an important day for Chloe. I feel like I just got... I feel like they had two different versions of, of this conversation, and I'm just going through both right now. That's kind of weird. Uh, she's going to be defending her title in the stew contest. Everything needs to be perfect. Looking forward to tasting her recipe. See you there. Yeah, I, 
Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that was really awkward. It was almost like they're... <gasps> oh, I love this. Ta-da. What do you think? I made this just for today. Oh, wow. You really didn't clean up... You really didn't clean up that paint I spilled. Of course I didn't. Look at how beautiful it is. What do you think of your masterpiece? My masterpiece? You're the one who painted it. Yes, but your contribution was essential to the whole. That makes it a collaborative work of art. You could even call it performance art. Does that mean I get a share of the proceeds? We'll negotiate the details another time. I mean, it's not like I can just sell this artwork to a collector. Because you're emotionally attached to it? Because my store is physically attached to it. Oh. Right. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. But while you're here, why don't you come into my store with me for a minute? I've got another surprise for you inside. Oh. Clean up party. Clean up party. Is this the second surprise? Yes. Just look at my store. I was up all night putting the decorations together. And I was thinking, since you're such a nice person, maybe you could help me tidy everything up. That way, we'll get to the hibernation festival in no time. All right. Yay. <laughs> Your job, my super kind friend, is to be, or is to clean the floor. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Finley to the rescue. Super clean. How's it looking? I'm done. Superly, duperly. Fast as lightning, Finio. Finno, I think that was. Ready to head out then? I was ready the moment I walked in here. Yay, to the town square, to the hibernation festival. Yay, I like your enthusiasm. Let's go. Okay, I think this way is probably the fastest. Also, it's already nighttime. I hope that we're uh, not going to be running late for work. I'm, I'm sure we're probably fine. And I haven't forgotten. We need to get a, I think it was a hazelnut candle for Irma if we can. If I see one, I will grab it. I don't know how much money I have. I am a doctor. I assume I make a decent amount at least. Probably not enough for what they ask me to do, but you know, them's the breaks. Do the trees back there seem familiar at all? That's the Glow Milk Woods. So it is. I recognize them anywhere after our last trip. Yeah, I know what you mean. The woods are special. They gave Finley nightmares. I'm not really fond of those woods. Oh, that's not good. 